All right, we're talking Honesdale Wrestling. Uh, Ryan Chilano with this uh, successful season. Again, get ready. Districts this coming weekend. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm sure you guys are fired up there for the Hornets. Let's talk about the, you know, uh, team districts and, you know, states and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I think coming into this year, um, certainly expectations were high, right? From a year ago, we had won districts and beat a really good Lackawanna Trail team. Uh, but we graduated 11 seniors from that squad. So, you know, we knew we had a lot of work to do and almost trying with the kids to kind of play that underdog role again, because I think that served us well over the last couple seasons. Um, and certainly we had a really good core of kids from that group back. Um, some guys we brought today, Joe Gianetti, uh, Mason Avery is only a junior yet, but he's certainly one of our leaders and the two Landry brothers, Joel and Levi. Um, so we had that core returning. And we had a couple freshmen come up that really were impactful. Uh, Reese Dennis at 107 has done a really good job for us and Duke Martin in the middleweights. Um, so those guys complemented that team nicely and filled us out. And I think maybe one of our best attributes is just that full team buy-in of, of bonus points. That's something we really stress in high school wrestling is getting the bonus when you can and not giving them up when you're able. And I think that's down the stretch here allowed us to maybe have the good run that we had because we weren't great early season on that end of things. We go back uh, for years and remember, you know, covering, um, you know, you guys and what it was like back. And, you know, that's something at Honesdale and wrestling, you'd still hang your hat on. Like, okay, yeah, the wrestling absolutely. program's solid. We got good kids. They buy into the program. It's, yeah. you know, it's good. And if you look at maybe like a West Scranton or a Delaware Valley, like they have maybe year over year some individuals that are at a really high level, a state level. And, and Honesdale, going back to the time of my dad running things for decades, you know, there's been a few blips on the radar, the Arnones, the Olvers of the world that were at that state level. But by and large, a Honesdale kid has always been just a worker. It's always been about the team and just a stable full of kids that are run through a wall for you. Uh, maybe they weren't world beaters on that, that high level individual side of things, but it's always served us well. And I think these last few seasons have been been that again. Now, with that said, I think we've had some individuals that have been having a lot of success, which is really cool to see. But by and large, our focus is the team. And I think that's how you grow the sport is putting emphasis on the team and those lower levels because, you know, let's face it, 95% of these kids aren't doing this at the collegiate level. So what are they getting out of the sport, the takeaway? I think if you rally around that team attitude, it really pays dividends, not only for us, but for making fans of the sport long term. Grinders, you know, guys wrestling with your heart at Honesdale. I mean, you know, winning in the last couple of seconds, finding ways to do something. I mean, yeah. that's what you guys have kind of hung your hat on as well. You go back to your dad and, yep. you know, just seeing these guys remembering. I mean, some of my greatest memories, you know, at regionals, uh, you know, and our known kid winning, you know, yep. a, a two to one overtime or a three to two decision, something like that. Those those bring back some memories. Yeah, and that third period, you know, it's it's a really cool, just it's a personal sport. It's a sport like no other. You know, I played football and I did some baseball and love sports. I'm a, an athlete guy, um, but wrestling just had that individual side to things. And to speak to that end of the work ethic and the way you train, there's just something to be said for maybe when a kid that first period you knew was maybe a better wrestler, but you just stuck with it, stayed the course and, and picked them off late because you had worked harder. That's a really cool feeling to have. So, and that's maybe unique to our sport in, in some regards. Talk about learning things from your dad, but then maybe getting your own little, you know, spin of things. And, you know, we can learn a lot from one person, but it helps when you throw in a sprinkle, 3%, 4%, 10%. Yeah, here. absolutely. Um, I mean, certainly our, you know, my father, Rich, had coached football and wrestling for 32 years there at Holmesdale and certainly laid the foundation for all the success we've been able to have over our tenure. Uh, Joe Arnone and I have been coaching together now. 19, this is our 19th season. Um, you guys still look young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you feel it, but, um, you know, you start out right out of college, I think, and you're full of vim and vinegar and you just want to smash, smash, smash. And I think with some perspective now over the years, you know, the kids was, oh, you're getting soft, coach. It's like, no, I think you evolve, right? Sure. I like to think it's evolving, not softening up. But certainly, you know, the old school mentality of just training in the 80s for all sports was just smash, 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 smash. Um, that Iowa style of wrestling. I think you've seen guys like Cale Sanderson at the college level for Penn State. 
and kind of try to embrace more of uh, enjoying the sport and certainly you work hard obviously but you know focusing on the big picture and the, the rest cycle so that stuff maybe as a younger guy we didn't do and you'd have teams kind of breaking down at the end of the year I think we were more cognizant of that and that's certainly paying dividends for us these last few years we've been much more successful I think we're maybe managing athletes a little more you know knowing when to rest guys and what? when sicknesses pop up you know that you got to pull off them a little bit Put the egos aside and I mean you and the Arnones guys just I don't care who gets the credit as long as we have success that's all yeah, that matters. Absolutely and I've we've tried really hard you know Joe and I to own the program together and, and, and it takes a village like I, again I've been doing this long enough to not have my foolish pride anymore um, it's a humbling experience to work really hard and and have thin years and years where you're getting chewed up and, and we've had those. Um, so just that's a testament to at all levels. We have a lot of guys working hard at the elementary. Um, Elliot Zakoski is a guy who's from West Side that has been with us for many, many years now and has been helping on that junior high side of things. Uh, we had a guy for Zach Jones took over that this year. He had wrestled at East Stroudsburg. So we just we have a lot of really good help. Um, and I think that's a big part of you know why we've been successful. Another guy that came into the fray, you were talking about people who've been impactful. Uh, we have a, a fellow, Mike Ondich, has been with us now for, it has to be seven, eight years. Um, and he had coached in New York City at Truman High School for 30 years and was USA Wrestling Coach of the Year. He just retired up to our area and, and got involved as a volunteer. And he's been, you know, that's changed a ton of how we've approached things on our end as coaches. And I think a lot of our success we can attribute to him and his help. Honesdale's kind of quietly a, a great area that people just don't always, you know, the people from New York, they'll come over, and people maybe from Jersey, but, you know, people in Northeast PA, they kind of forget, hey, Honesdale's a great place to go. There's a lot to do there and great people. That it Main is. Street's fantastic. I mean, it's a lot of pride. Yeah, it's funny. I'm not an old guy yet, but I'm kind of in that tweener phase and you run into people, kids aren't the way they used to be. It's like, <laughs> I don't see that. I mean, every single year, kids will take what you give them <laughs> like they're kids they'll take advantage and take the easier road if you let them but if you drive a hard line and you try to push a, a message and get a team to buy in i've never had a group of kids at Holmesdale once you challenge them not respond and step up so i think that's it's got to be universal right i think people still want to work hard and please and, and do a good job and put pr their pride in something i think we've we definitely have fostered that culture if anything else and and that's helped us but yeah, Holmesdale, is, as far as our area, is a great place to be, and it's within striking distance. We're a little off the beaten path from the valley down here, but I think it's it's a great spot, and it's, you know, year over year, we've had a lot of great kids go through the program. Good to talk to you, and uh, congratulations on a fantastic season. More to come. Yeah, hopefully we have a good district. I, the hat trick for us was, and we've still yet to do that, would be winning a league title, the team duels, and then the individual. Um, and every year we've kind of been boxing a cloud. We've dropped the ball on one of those, and it's been a good catalyst to double down for the other two. But this year we, you know, we're two for two so far. So this week coming up is a big one for us, and we're trying to stay mentally invested in it. And no matter what season it is, whether you're good or bad, it's always that mental adversity down the stretch of finishing through. Because it's real easy at this point in the season to start, oh, I can't wait to start lifting for next year. Next year will be my year. No, we're be in the present, you know? So that's the challenge at this point in the year, I think for every coach and every team and every individual is just staying through to the finish line and, and being mentally, like I said, invested. So we're thrilled for this opportunity here coming up this week and hopefully get a couple kids of that state tournament it would be awesome. All right, Ryan, good to see you. Hey, thank you, John.